Hey y'all, Matt here with Bobcat Bonsai, and today I'm out on my back deck just enjoying a uh, nice shade. The sun hasn't made it up over top of the uh, house yet to come back here and bother me, so I'm going to sit back here and enjoy the shade. Maybe a bit darker in this video. As you can see, I'm squinting because it's still bright even though the sun hasn't made it over. Um, but today, I'm just going to do a little trim up on my Barbados cherry and my Chinese elm that uh, Candace over at Bonsai Science gave to me. So that's what we're going to be up to today. Let's get to it. All right, so as we see here, the tree still has a little bit of dew on it, and that's all right. Um, we'll trim it even with the dew on there. I realized that I forgot my uh, trimmers though, so I'm gonna have to go grab those. So. I'll be right back. So after looking inside for a little while, I realized that uh, they were in my pocket. So as we see here, it's not a huge little tree, um, but I still really like it. The uh, first branch I actually want to mess with here is going to be this one because it's growing over top. There's nothing growing back further on it, so I am going to end up snipping this one all the way back, leaving just a little nub there for... Uh, die back I do need to get into and start wiring and stuff as well with this tree but looking at it I need to get rid of this branch right here let's see if I can get you a better spot because it's actually growing out of the armpit of this one up here a little bit further so I'm just gonna come in here and again leave a little nub for die back I heard that the Barbados cherries root really well so I am gonna end up putting these in and trying to get them as cuttings. I think that'll be really cool if I can get that. So this little guy I've got coming over this way, and that's great. Um, I wish it would grow a little bit more out to this direction. But for the time being, I'm just gonna snip it back and into here, just get rid of the new growth, and leave the old growth over there. This upper branch here, I kind of like the way it's growing, but I'm going to come in and snip that one. For this one, I'm just going to take the new growth off and just kind of leave it. Uh, let's see, this little guy. We're going to nip all the way back into there because that was just really bundling up back in there further. <laughs> Coming down onto this one. I'm actually going to nip both of these leaves here and allow this to see. Actually, we'll nip it right there too. There's another leaf behind it. Yeah. Let's see. My cat got a hold of this section up in here, which is rough, but. We'll nip that to get that one going that way. I'm actually going to get rid of that piece right there. Just to open it up more. So that branch has a lot of other branches coming back further and further. And reaching way across, which I do not like. So I am going to nip it all the way back into there on this one. And I left this just in case, but I'm hoping it back buds a little bit more. And then for this one right here, I'm actually going to nip it all the way back into there and hope that gets a good back bud out of it. So this branch right in here, that one is kind of, I'm kind of stuck with it. I'm thinking about honestly getting rid of it because it broke at one point up top and it, it doesn't have the nicest appearance. But for the time being, I think I'm gonna leave it. But I have a feeling that I'm gonna end up taking this one right here, and this one's gonna become the new apex, running that way. So then it's gonna come up and then curve back out the other direction. But for the time being, we'll just leave it alone. And I'm just gonna come in and continue trimming this back a little bit. There 
go. Got a nice clean up in there. Um, we've got some armpit girth going on in here, so we got to get rid of that. Alright, so that's all cleaned up through there. This little guy needs to go back in a lot because that's actually coming off of what I was talking about turning into the new apex. So I'm going to take it back to one leaf in there just to kind of give it a little bit of room to grow but not too much. And then just trim up a little bit around the edges here. That's That's not awful. We may just leave that be. But we got three different pieces growing out of here, so. There we go. Now we're down to one. So that can continue on. This one I'm going to take all the way back. And then this little branch is actually sticking out way too far as well, so that one's got to come back and in. that one there we are okay so without wire on it I know it doesn't look like too much but I'm kind of trying to baby my way through this one for a little while just to see what all it'll let me get away with doing. And for the time being, we're just going to do this little trim here. So, my thoughts get rid of that one. Bring this one up and around. Then we'll have it, it's going to be more off centered than anything. So we'll have this little branch that's going to come down into here. This one will be gone. Then we'll have this guy right here. So this branch is right on the inside here. Let's look at it from the back side. This branch is right on the inside and even. I'm actually going to get rid of that one. And that's going to be it for the Barbados. That's all. Until we get to the next video and get a little bit more done with that one. So I'll be with you once I get the uh, Chinese Elm all set up. All right, so this little tree has gotten massively overgrown and I need to do some work on it drastically. Uh, first off, this branch can come all the way back. This one right in here, we're gonna bring back to right here. And this one we're gonna bring in to right here. All right, so we've got a nice strong start here. This one over here, I want to cut more back towards the other direction, so gave it to that leaf to cut back in there. So right here I actually cut it so that it'll go to this leaf and then run back in that direction here. This one, I'm just going to take it back to the first leaf here and allow it to start growing back in that direction a little bit as this branch comes down. coming through over to here this one's growing up so I am gonna end up having to twist it so once I get it twisted into the shape I want let's see I'm gonna want it to go right there so that the next branch is coming in this direction now we've got this little guy here 
and it's coming up and out so we're gonna let it continue growing in this direction over here towards me then we have some of these little guys back here a little bit further I'm just going to nip off some of the new growth to just kind of push it back. These are growing upwards, which I don't necessarily like, so I'm going to take them off. And this one's got some good growth coming back in here. This one's growing right out of the little the little armpit in there so I think I'm gonna take this one out and now that's gonna open up that space right in there just a little bit more and then that actually leads to taking off this one that's growing right across the top as well so now we've got these little branches right up here coming all the way in I'm gonna take off and just leave those little guys and then leave this one coming out that way. I should be able to get this one to come down, but I need it to bud back, or back bud, so. Hopefully I can get some more growth coming in from back here further. This big old guy right here has a lot of upward growth that's trying to come in, so I'm gonna nip all that off real quick. And then take this one all the way back to, we'll go to the third to last leaf. That way we're not too close in. Same with that one. That one I'm going to nip off the tip on. This one we can bring down, so I'm happy about that. So we'll actually pull that one. So the next one's going to be this leaf right here. Alright, um, this one we're going to take back a good bit. We're going to twist it and try to take it all the way over to here and get a good pull out of it. Let me see what I've got going on back here because now we're starting to get a little bit congested. There we are. So we're beginning to get it opened up. Um, this is going to take me a little bit here, so let me get some more work done, and I'll bring you back when I'm all finished up. All right, so not too much done here. Uh, it's trimmed back a little bit. I'm still going to have some major decisions to go through, and then i got to get some wire on it here. Uh, I'll end up doing that in another video, putting the wire on, getting it all shaped up from there, because I feel like I drug you guys out long enough on this one. I'm not gonna lie though, I'm almost tempted to do an air layer right there and just take that top portion and make that its own little tree, that would be pretty sick. But, we're gonna roll with it and just keep getting this little guy going. If you wanna take a little tour around here. Sorry, I don't have a nice big backdrop up here for you to look at. I actually kinda really like that view too, but. It's not fully into a shape. It's kind of there. The hard part is, is like this branch is cool and all, but it needs a branch way down there. It's just tough. This is a tough one right here. Cause it's got its nice little triangular shape. Boop, boop, boop. Right there's your triangle. That little branch is just weird down there. I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. Candace gave me a few pointers in her video before she shipped it off to me. And now I've just got to turn this thing into a fully developed beautiful bonsai. We'll get there. Alright, 
Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you enjoy my content, you should subscribe to my channel. And if you really, really enjoy my content, you should hit the bell notification so you get notified every time I release a new video. Thank you.